Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvements? Well, you caught it right here at Ship Tape TV. What would a how-to show be without the before shot? Okay, check out our Monterey. And now here is the after shot. All right, we have an Isinglass enclosure with the Sumbrella trim. We've been talking about marine fabric today here at Ship Shape TV, and we're now on another one of our project boats. This is our 19-foot Boston Whaler Nantucket, and we have some vinyl cushions on the boat, and I want to show you some pretty nasty growth that's taking place underneath them. And I want to talk about how we could clean this up. Now, I could use boat soap and, and a brush, but I'm not going to get some of the staining out. I could also use bleach, but I've ruined a lot of clothes using bleach. I want to talk about a product that's been around for a long, long time, yet a whole lot of boaters don't really know about it. And I'm talking about spray nine, and that leads us to our next expert guest. This is Mike Hauser, and Mike is the national sales manager of spray nine. Morning, and guys. Thanks for coming down to Florida. What can we use to, to clean this up to where we could get rid of the mold and the mildew okay. and, and all of that? The soap just isn't aggressive enough. You're, you know, you're taking a concentrate and you're putting into a, diluting it in a five-gallon bucket of water. It's just not strong enough. The Spray 9's got some uh, aggressive solvents and some surfactants that are going to really get into the soil and dig out those marine dirts. Okay, now, now bleach is strong, all right, but I, but I was saying if you accidentally splash some of that bleach on your clothing, it's going to stain it, all right? If I accidentally splash some of your product on my clothing, am I going to stain it? No, you're actually going to clean your clothing. We you know, recommend it as a pre-spotter for laundry. All right, now I've heard that if you use your product on your vinyls uh, regularly, it will actually prevent the growth of mildew and mold from ever happening in the first place. True. Spray 9 is an EPA registered mold and mildew stat, which means with continued use, it will actually build up uh, kind of an immunity to the molds and the viruses. And Take a look at my non-skid. Take a look at my fiberglass down here. I have a lot of the same conditions. Will this work in that area of the boat? This is actually where Spray 9 works the best. It's going to dig all those marine soils right out, you know, just rinse them away or wipe them away. You know, if, if you're going to cook on your boat in your galley and, and you're cutting up some raw chicken, you want something that's going to kill germs. And, and oftentimes you, you use a specific product for that. Uh, your spray nine, this, this is a multi-purpose kind of task material. W w will it work in the galley? It will. Um, it's you know, great for stove tops, the sink area, but since it's an EPA registered disinfectant, it also kills E. coli and salmonella, you know, the things you worry about in the kitchen and in the galley. Spray nine goes a step further than most cleaners. It's also a tremendous degreaser. Okay. For bilges, engine greases. All right. Where is Spray Nine available? Yes, for Spray Nine by name in any marina, any ship chandlery, uh, West Marine, Boaters World. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you, John. Mold, mildew, black streaks, bird and spider droppings, fish blood. Every boater faces nasty cleanup. The answer, Marine Spray 9. Above and below deck, Marine Spray 9 digs out nasty soils and grease, destroys bacteria odors, and even kills harmful germs such as avian flu and Norwalk virus. Since 1956, serious boaters have kept Marine Spray 9 on board. The result, less time cleaning, more time boating. Marine Spray 9 in the sporting goods section, boaters world, and other great chandlery.